The French administered Crozet Islands, a sub-Antarctic archipelago in the southern Indian Ocean, is one of the last remaining untouched places on Earth. Today, a technical team is on a mission to prepare the installation of CTBTOs, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization's hydroacoustic station, part of an international monitoring system. The international monitoring system uses four different technologies for detecting nuclear explosions, potentially detecting nuclear explosions. These technologies are underwater hydroacoustic stations, there are six of these under, underwater listening stations, and we're moving towards installing one at the Crozet Islands. Installing hydrophones deep in the ocean at one of the most remote places on Earth is a complex engineering feat. Used to monitor sounds within the depths of the ocean, these hydrophones send data through tens of kilometers of cables to a receiving station. From there, the data is transmitted to the CTPTO back in Vienna, Austria. The project requires high-tech equipment which was flown in so that work could begin. Jerry and a team of survey experts stay behind to undertake offshore deep water surveys. Cables going out to north of the island, 40 to 50 kilometers and the ship was able to run along the track along with where we're going to lay the cable. We need to understand the bottom profile because our cables are going to be on the bottom for over 20 years. We need to be very sure that uh, we put them in places where they're not going to be abraded or damaged by the, the, the bottom of the sea. The hard work pays off. On shore, the receiving station is now complete and connection to Vienna has been established. The monitoring system that is put in place by CTBTO isn't just applicable to uh, total interdiction of uh, nuclear testing. So uh, we have a lot of whales uh, in the Antarctic and subantarctic regions. The hydrophones will pick those up. They give us really uh, uh, valuable materials that enable us to do uh, long-term studies. Uh, they will also pick up seismic movements. And for uh, tsunami alerts, basically the uh, CTBTO network supplies a lot of information as well. Meanwhile, at the Marion de Frey, a 3D map of the underwater landscape is almost finished. It's a vital tool which will help the team to determine exactly where to install the hydrophones and lay the cables when they return later in the year. So the mission has been a great success, but we have one more major job, and that's to come back in December to install the hydroacoustic station. At this stage, Crozet will be part of the network of stations listening out for nuclear explosions across the oceans of the world. And, as a consequence, help to make the world a safer place. This report was produced by Krzysztof Kolosinski for the United Nations.